money makers right there. The ladies, oh, you know who you know who I'm talking about. You know that you agree. The lighting's good because it's focused on greatness, as always. Oh, let's go ahead and get started on this. I got you beautiful people out there watching it. The fellas. Oh, and my ladies, the cheerleaders. Oh, I'm so blessed to have each and every one of you in the building for another Sneaker Profiles. Let's go ahead and get started. Floyd Chavez here with the Floyd Chavez channel, also known as Mr. Wonderful, the Sneaker Killer, because I'm killing it in the stinking sneaker game, as you can tell behind me. Sneaker Profiles here, Sneaker Profiles number 102. Oh, we have reached the 100 mark, and now we're just going to keep going right ahead and moving forward. All engines go, because I got so much more freaking shoes in my collection that I can keep going and going like that Energizer Bunny. But really quick, let's do this fit check, because I was just chilling, watching some college, bat, uh, college football. Oh, because you know, right now we're in the heart of November, and you know college football is just right there in the midst of every single thing that we're doing in life, along with the NFL. But you know what? I was relaxing watching Michigan play because I'm a big fan of Michigan. But let's go ahead and go into this fit. So you could see Michigan, the Jordan logo right there. Oh, well, who's behind that Michigan T? The man, Woodson. Big fan of him when he played for Michigan. Big fan of him when he even got into the NFL. So I had to support him when I bought this tee. And then also yellow Nike woven shorts. Because like I said, I was relaxing and relaxing with you. So now, before we get into this profile, because it's a freaking great profile that we have amongst us. Go ahead, go grab yourself some food. Go grab some a nice cold beverage and then come back. Sit back and relax and let's talk about this beautiful A6 right here. I'm sure we're probably not going to get any views when it comes to A6 because no one's really probably on the hype train when it comes to A6. And plus, no one watches my freaking channel to begin with. So, But for those that are faithfully watching, let's go ahead and watch this one. This one's a beauty, a freaking gem when it comes to materials, when it comes to colors. I don't know how people are not more interested when it comes to ASICs and especially when it comes to hit the Ronnie Fi collaborations. In case you missed last uh, video when it comes to the profiles, that was 101. We're gonna go back and we're gonna take a look back at that live that I did back in February 3rd of 2022 when I showcased some of my ASICs, some of those collaborations with Ronnie Feig when it comes to the sneaker uh, factory behind me. Let's take a look at this freaking gem right here. So as you can see, different box from 101. From now on, you're going to start seeing just this box in general. But you see that? The Gel Light 5 Dark Green Mint. Size 10 and a half because what? Floyd always wears 10 and a half. So let's take a look at this one. Like I said, I showed this one on that live that i did back in february uh february 3rd to be exact but let's look at this freaking shoe right here what a beauty right here i love the colorway when it comes to this one because right now you're looking at that a6 gt5 ronnie Fi collaboration this is also known as sage this shoe was released can you believe this freaking shoe was released back in august august 30th 2014 so this shoe right here is six plus another two eight years old right there that you're looking and it's still in freaking great condition let's get that closer look retail price was 170 dollars this shoe is decked out in that premium pig skin and that combining that micro perforated sage colored vamp with that sea green overlays the kicks sports hits premium with that white leather while an open mesh material amplifies that silhouette and that sock liner right here as you can see and then rounding out that look are that beautiful aqua blue foam stripes and that subtle 
Safari print detailing this beautiful freaking shoe. So let's look at that. The Gelite 5 hit right here. Beautiful pig skin. I love the pig skin when it comes to this suede. Like I said in the last video, when it comes to Ronnie Feig when he's in his collaborations, like I said, not every shoe is a hit. Not every shoe is a shoe that I have in the collection because there's some where I'm just like, what the hell were you thinking when you when you did that palette or when you used that certain model? But this one right here, this one he hit it out of the park. He always uses great materials. I got to give it to him when it comes to that beautiful material. See, even right here, you got that, that sea foam colored right here. And this is white right here. Very, very, just those little pay attention to, to those details. It just makes the shoe just so much better. This right here is like, you know, I want to say beige, but it's like, I would say like a peach kind of color as well right there this shoe i did wear unfortunately this is one of those shoes i did not hit for retail i had to get this on ebay actually i was able to pick this one up on ebay this one actually took me a while to get trying to find a brand new pair you know with everything when it comes to shoelaces when it comes to the box everything in good condition it was really hard to find but i was very happy and fortunate enough to actually be able to purchase this shoe brand new but as you can see i have wore it you know I, I tend to wear a lot of my asics because one they're so comfortable um but two they just they just freaking look amazing they're amazing see that some laces right there see the inside asics and then this is that sock liner i'm talking about see how the gt5 is different from the gt uh gt3 that I showed you in the last one. This one has a sock liner, no split tongue. Basically, your foot just slides in, and then you got these nice rope laces along with these ones. I believe I switched them out because they do come with just the regular standard laces, but I switched them out to these nice rope laces. But what do you think about this one? What do you think about the Gel Light 5? Do you prefer the Gel Light 5 over the 3? Or what other models do you prefer over any of the last two that I showed you? Honestly, when it comes to ASICs, I will have to pick the Gelike 5 over pretty much, yeah, over any other model. I really like the Gelike 5s. I do like the Gelike 3s. I love that split tongue, but I feel like the Gelike 5 for me is, it just looks a lot better on my foot. But wait, this is Mr. Wonderful. Everything looks freaking amazing on, on my foot, but I would have to say I really just love how the Gelike 3 I'm sorry, the Gelite 5 looks on, on my foot, but everything looks good. Everything looks good when it comes to Mr. Wonderful, the ravishing one. But what do you think about this? Like I said, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Beautiful colors used on this one. You know, definitely it's not all the same color. It's just different hits, different materials used. Just, I mean, like I said, beautiful shoe. A lot of great detailing when it comes to this shoe. Drop a comment down below. I would love to know how you feel about the gel lights, how you feel about the collaborations with Ronnie and, and A6. What, what shoes are you a fan of? Uh, are you, is this the freaking first time you ever seen this shoe? Let me know. I would love to know all those things. I appreciate you for coming into to the building. Like I always say, thank you for blessing the channel. Thank you for blessing the factory with your view. I'm always looking forward to seeing some new people, seeing some comments, and also go support me in those shorts. Support me here and go definitely support me on Instagram. I would love that. But besides that, all that shit is, has been said, right? So let's go ahead and go move forward now. Sneaker Profiles 103 is about to come in a couple days. So get your ass, sit tight. And relax and let's go ahead and get into that other one when we get to 103. I appreciate you for being in the building. Thank you so much. And in case you didn't know already, like I always say, Floyd on YouTube is just too sweet. And you know what? Surveys in. One more for the good guy. I appreciate you. Like I said, catch you on 103, about to hit you with another beautiful A6, and I can't wait to see you there.